that brings us to your weekly capsule of health information. We like to call it your healthy dose. Once again, here for the first time this year, it's the CEO and president of the Hannibal Regional Hospital Foundation, Wendy Harrington. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good morning, happy Wendy. Happy New Year to you. Said happy Friday. And, and yes, every, every Friday is good when you come in here. Oh, you know what? It, I look for it every week. <laughs> <laughs> Santa good to you over the holidays? He was fabulous. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes, now I'm ready for spring. Well, a lot of people have that New Year's resolution to lose weight and take better care of themselves and a great opportunity, of course, the month of February, National Heart Month. And yes. you've got a number of events, as you always do, to kind of get up, for us to get up and move. Yes, we like to keep everybody active and for good causes to raise funds for the health care system. And you know, February is heart month, and a lot of times we forget still the leading killer in the United States is those diseases associated with heart disease and cardiovascular disease. So we spend a lot of time talking about cancer prevention and uh, hoping that we can fight cancer, but we also need to spend a lot of time thinking about our heart health, and that's one of the things in February you'll be hearing a lot about. And one of the things we do like to do in February is raise funds for our cardiology services. So mm -hmm. for the fourth annual, we do this every year, the Sweetheart Swing. It's a dinner and dance. It'll be held February 9th this year, and it is a lot of fun for a great cause. So if you're wanting to make plans for your sweetheart for Valentine's Day, here's a great event to come to. And it's very popular. Yes, it is. We have yeah. the Gateway City Big Band, and they have quite a following. They're from St. Louis, and they come up every year. They love it. They love supporting this event. We have a great dinner. And then we do some fun things, too. We have the king and queen of dance. We have a dance-off in the middle of the evening. And I tell you, every year this gets a little bit more competitive, and people are getting um, – pretty excited about seeing if they can become the king and queen of dance mm -hmm. so you guys can come try out if you like so people rehearse in advance oh they're yes ready. yes they're ready do you no I, okay. I get to be a judge <laughs> oh so you got the easy way out of that exactly. one exactly <laughs> exactly and all of the proceeds benefit our Helping Hearts Fund. And this is a fund that I think is just a great fund for our healthcare system. It helps those cardiology patients after they've had a heart attack or a heart event. So just a couple of ways that fund can be used. Um, if you have had a heart attack and you need to take uh, cardiac rehab, you will probably come and see us three to four times a week for six to eight weeks. And that puts a lot of financial burden on a lot of our patients. So this fund helps them with that transportation and some of the cost of cardiac rehab. As well as if you're in the hospital and you go home, a lot of our patients have a lot of trouble monitoring their weight and making sure they're taking the right medicines. And we have resources that we help our patients track that and keep on schedule so they don't end up back in the hospital with us. Because mm. when you get well, we want you to go home and stay well and stay well and yeah. two you want to support cardiac care because uh, what this is the fourth year for this event right that, that is exactly right it's an annual event that uh, over the years has raised over thirty thousand dollars to help uh, benefit the cardiology services mm -hmm. that's great and yes. the good thing about it is the the way that cardiology service has improved in our area over the past five years, 10 yes. years. Yes, yes. Over the last few years, um, we have a lot more options in our community. I know that our Cardiovascular Institute was created a few years ago that allows us to do interventional cardiology right here at home, where a lot of people might have had to travel out of the region to do that. Mm -hmm. So we are committed to offering high quality, accessible health care here. And this is just one of the ways we can help support that. That's great. And when it comes to cardiac care, you don't want to travel. No. You don't want to try to get no. somewhere. It no. needs to be taken care of now and here. And you're able to do that. Yes. And, and quite exciting. Last year, we raised funds for the Heart to Heart campaign that when someone has a heart event, they can uh, be treated immediately where the physicians can look at their EKGs. That system is now being put in place. So if someone has a heart attack, that cardiologist can run to either his iPhone or his uh, monitor, and they look, can look at that EKG and past EKGs, and they can say, hey, get the cath lab ready. We need to mm -hmm. do an intervention. Mm -hmm. So that is truly a life-saving device that our community helped raise the funds to do that. That's awesome. You are also offering the red shirts. Yes, yes. You know, we do a lot of power of pink things when we do October and Breast Cancer Awareness Month and a lot of cancer things. This year we're doing red for a reason, and these shirts are available. All the funds uh, benefit the Helping Hearts Fund, but it reminds us, when you look at red, think about heart health and think about ways we can keep ourselves healthy. And good job, mm -hmm. look red at that. Red tie. Yes, everyone has on red. On. Yeah. Yep. Yes, so um, red for a reason, and that way we can all remember to take care of ourselves and our heart. 
It's a good way to do that. You've also um, kicked off a campaign to, to build this fitness trail around the hospital campus. Yes, yes, and this time of year, we're all thinking about fitness, right? I'm already thinking about, I've broke my resolution to work out more, <laughs> I think, so um, there's always a new day. You've just delayed it. Delay, correct, until 2014. Um, but we are creating a walking fitness trail on our campus. We are very excited about this. It'll be over a mile long, marked every 10th of a mile. So. It, whether you're just an older individual that would like to come out and walk a little bit, or if you're a marathon runner training for the, you know, a marathon or training for our Hannibal Cannibal, it is a great accessible uh, fitness trail that you can come out and it has the distances marked. It's very safe. It'll be well lit. So we're looking forward. We've raised $50,000 towards the $180,000 goal for that. And hopefully this time next year, everybody can come out and use our fitness trail. That's yeah, great. Everyone. It's not just those that are employed on campus. That's exactly right. And it's for our families, our patients, our whole community. And I tell you, we've had a lot of support from some of the older folks in the community that say, I don't really have a place that I feel really safe to go walk. This is going to be a great resource for them. You know, they say 30 minutes of exercise a day can totally change your health. So we want to be a partner in that. Yeah, That's, just get yeah. up and move. That's yes. a great thing, especially, I think, for the patients. I remember one time when I was a patient and if there had been an area like that where I could get yes. outside oh, yes. and actually start to get active again, that's, that's a great exactly thing. Right. Yes, the patients and the families. If you've ever had a family member that's been in the hospital for a while, it's really good to get out and clear your mind. So it helps you stay healthy in a number of ways. Good sure stuff. does, yeah. And uh, you've also, it, it, every time that we've had you on, it seems like you, you want to honor a lot of the people that volunteer yes. on uh, at the hospital in, in very, uh, I mean, various capacities. Like I said before, they used to call them candy stripers, but exactly. really, uh, it's the core of the volunteers that really bring it all together. I tell you what, our volunteers, the Hannibal Regional Hospital Auxiliary are amazing. Um, they do so much, not only raise money, but they're there in the waiting rooms, the information desk. Uh, they just figured up their hours last year and they volunteered enough hours that if they would have had to pay for that, it would have been a half a million dollars. So think of the wow. impact they have. But the other great thing is there's a lot of studies that show when you volunteer, you stay more active and you stay healthier. Mm -hmm. So not only are they helping us, they're also being more healthy by getting out and helping others. So I think we can learn a lot from our auxilians. And as I watch them around the hospital, I realize that they do it because they have a passion for it and they love it. And our healthcare system is better because of them. It sure is. And I like the way you put that, auxilians. Yes. <laughs> it took me a while to learn how to spell that. And, and there's, <laughs> is there an age restriction? Yeah. No, we have some teens that come in, uh, volunteer either like right. in the emergency room or the children's center, mm -hmm. um, all the way up to 90 plus. So if anybody is interested in that, they can contact us at the either the hospital or the foundation. And also there's a way to support uh, the hospital effort as well, especially if we've been treated by Hannibal Regional or if we've had a loved one as an honorarium. Oh, yes, yes. And we do have our Grateful Patient Program that we kicked off a year ago that you can honor one of those team members that cared for you, or you can honor Greg on his birthday there and make go. a donation to the HRHF and say, Greg's a great guy, I want to help. <laughs> um, but the Grateful Patient Program, we've had a lot of feedback from families that say, you treated my family like she was a member of your family and I want to thank this nurse or this physician. So that is a great way to support our health care and honor our team members. Good to know. All right. So don't forget, February is National Heart Month and you've got a number of ways that we can have fun and raise money for a very good cause. We always have something that will meet your needs and that you can have fun and support us. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to hrhf.org or call 573-629-3577 or like us on Facebook. Okay, very good. Great. Lots we'll of do. good information and always a lot of fun when you're here. Well, thank you. Have a great weekend. All right. Thanks, Thanks Wendy. You too, Wendy. That's Wendy Harrington, CEO, President of Hannibal Regional Hospital Foundation. And again, more online hrhonline.org, who also brings you this uh, edition of your capsule of healthy information, your healthy dose. It's also brought to you by Hannibal Regional Medical Group.